All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are reviewing an interesting variety today called Kafeji Black. This is a variety that is a Hungarian fig from a grower named Akos. Shout out to Akos. Sorry, bud, if I'm pronouncing your name a little incorrectly there. But this is, from what I can tell, quite an upgrade from Black Mission. It's very similar, I'm finding. Uh, has a longer neck, longer stem, slender body, um, and the pulp seems to be nicer and tastier. It's also extremely hardy, and it seems to be one of the hardier figs I've got. Um, and I'm really excited for this. I'll show you guys the tree in a minute. I did cut this open. Let me zoom in and show you the inside. Um, and I have to say, it's a stunner. Definitely looks more interesting, more berry flavored, and darker red than your typical Black Mission fig. Uh, now, I also, for comparison purposes, because when I was filming this video uh, just now, I didn't have the sound on, but I was able to uh, compare it to some other Black Mission types I have. And as I was saying, this one does seem to be, in my opinion, an improvement over the many different Black Mission figs I've tried over the years. So far, this one, Pernet Noir and Rissoule are, I think, top tier in this category and i i picked pernet noir just to have it side by side and compare because again i feel like this is such a similar styled fig to each other that it's hard to even um you know to someone who is untrained it'd be hard to even uh distinguish between them but i can definitely see a difference and I could definitely argue that these are very different figs. Also, it's very different than Black Mission, both of them. And that's the beauty of it, guys, is that you really get to, when you go through this and you try a lot of these Black Mission figs or whether it's Hardy Chicago types, whatever it is, and compare them, you notice the difference. I'm seeing a lot of variation actually within the Black Mission figs seen a lot of variation actually this year in the Celeste figs as well. Um, you know, Hardy Chicago is that one that kind of gets the bad name of them all being the same, which is, which is really not the case, but certainly they're very similar to each other. Whereas these, I would argue, are, they really have some distinct differences between them. Um, so far though, I do find this ripens around a similar time period. I do find that it has a similar um, uh, similar hang time, I imagine. Um, this is Kafeji I'm talking about. Similar size, um, similar colors, similar in most ways other than just what I was saying, the hardiness, the shape, and hopefully the flavor. There's the comparison there between the two. You get a better shot of that for you guys. There we go. They have a very similar pattern to their pulp. Um, and I don't, you know, they're definitely different. So I'm not, I don't want to mislead anybody here. But I also, at the same time, um, you know, I'm putting them in a very similar category. Uh, let's try them both side by side. Here we've got Pernet Noir. This to me is, again, probably the best one I've, I've tried other than Rissoulette. This one has a bitter skin that's chewy. Contrasts really nicely with the, um, the sweet pulp. It's more of a sugar fig, really jammy in texture. And then here's Kafeji Black. Doesn't have that chewy skin or bitter skin. More mild, actually. Um, more seed crunch. Different texture, more more meaty, more loose of a pulp, and just overall is very good. Um, 
it's just a high quality fig you can tell you know i definitely really like this one but if i had to choose actually i would choose this pernet noir the problem with it with it is this bitter skin i think a lot of people probably won't like and also i have not tested the hardiness of pernet pernet noir however Cafeji black has survived the winter here twice it's proven to be a very hardy fig variety. So, um, yeah, that was Kefeji Black. A little bit there on its origin and taste and some of the descriptors. I think actually, by the way, it's, it's not that productive so far. It does take a while to mature, and I do think it requires and should not really be pruned much. Um, so that can be tricky for some growers. But... Um, yeah, once we get it going, once we get it more established, I think we'll see much more production from it. Thanks for watching this one here, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We'll catch you guys for the next tasting. And check the rest of them out on figboss.com.